I'm Ashley Jones with the Honey Bee Research Lab here at the University of Maryland. We are a big group of really enthusiastic bee-loving people that work with beekeepers to give them information on the health of their honeybees. Our main concern is honeybee health and what we can do to help these very important pollinators. The reasons why I like working in a lab is because there's always something new. There's always new projects going on and it never gets dull around here. Part of what I do is monitor for new invasive species. I also assist the lab with daily tasks. Honeybees and other pollinators are responsible for every third bite we eat. A world without honeybees means a world without the majority of our fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Even the milk in your fridge and your favorite cheese are available because of the efforts of honeybees, who pollinate hay crops fed to dairy cattle. Our produce and dairy shelves are quite empty without pollinators. Unfortunately, bees are in decline nationwide, and beekeepers currently experience high annual colony losses. Widespread colony losses endanger our food supply. Currently, no single factor emerges as the cause of honeybee declines, but rather a culmination of many factors that weaken the honeybee's immune system. Bee health is directly linked to the food they collect. When bees can't find flowers, they misuse their stored food, and the colony will lose weight. Just as people get sick when stressed, Bees can't fight infection well when under nutritional stress. This is where we come in. Our team has been working hard to monitor honeybee health over large areas. So how can we do this? We will place sentinel hives in the field. These sentinel hives use a combination of sensors to track colony growth while we monitor for mites and disease. We'll also add a pollen trap to see what flowers bees visit for food. Pollen is the protein for the colony. These sentinel hives provide beekeepers with important tools to keep their colonies healthy. I'm really excited about this project. What we're asking for are funds to set up sentinel apries as a pilot project in the local area around the University of Maryland. And what we're going to do is we're going to give tools to beekeepers to collect data over time and then we return that data to beekeepers very quickly so they can make informed management decisions keeping their colonies healthy and alive. And if this works, and I really think it will, we'll be able to take this project nationally, and in so doing, we can really help reduce the number of colonies that are dying in this country every year. How will the money we raise be able to help bees? With the funds, we'll be able to purchase hive scales, we'll be able to monitor for diseases and mites, and we'll also be able to collect pollen. Our goal is to have 10 of these sentinel hives set up throughout Maryland, including one of our own here at the University of Maryland. All information that we get from these Sentinel Hives will be placed on our website and viewable for all of the public to see. Many want to help stop the decline of bees, but few solutions have been offered. Our Sentinel Hives provide an excellent opportunity to transform this passion for pollinators into a constructive solution.